if we want to get healthy, we need to rethink about food because most of the problem in the current generation is about unhealthy eating and not moving enough. And we have lost the art of cooking, we have lost the art of moving. And rather than spending millions, even billions, on the health system and NHS, way better that if we spend the same money teaching people what to eat, how to eat. And it's not about bad food, it's really tasty food. So I'm cooking for my kids, I'm home. Uh, the mother has gone to university to lecture, nursing students. And I'm making food, so kids have, are very fussy. So you have to give them good food in a tasty way. And that's not about kids, it's about everybody else. So I will not eat a food if you tell it is nutritious, if it tastes rubbish. I will not. So you have to make it really good. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm giving them a rainbow dish, which is good for their health, but I'm making it tasty. What makes a dish tasty is a fundamental question. It's a mixture of texture, it's a mixture of taste, a mixture of smell and, and a mixture of proper nutrition and it's a mixture of everything. It's, it's like a dance, it's like an orchestra, it's like a symphony and you cannot achieve it unless you're trained and you will get yourself self-trained if you're passionate like me since I was a kid. I keep reading about it, watching about it and thanks to YouTube everything is so easy now I can find out any recipe. So what I'm doing here, I'm spicing it up using my spice which is a red chili pepper sometimes Kenyan pepper sometimes so this this chilliness the chili factor is a hit the pungency and then I will be sprinkling some fava beans it's, it's rich in magnesium and it gives a crunchy texture okay because you need to vary the texture the floppy um, puckery leaves the chewy uh, strips of bacon the crumbly, not crumbly, the, the soft squeezy egg and then this toasted bread, seeded bread and then this uh, soft squeezy mushroom and then you have to give a sauce because even now there is no sourness in it, there is heat, there is salt, uh, there is no sugar and there is no sour. So I'm putting this sour and making a bit more pungent by giving a dollop of mustard okay and a bit of sriracha is another type of chili sauce so a simple mayonnaise which is basically uh, a standard sauce for many sauces. there are six type of sauces you need to learn to make if you go to a, a chef school okay so now this is way more tastier than the normal mayonnaise sauce and let me spice it up a bit more by putting some fava in there okay so I think I'm done I'm just going to serve the food wake up the kids so this is all done and you need to also understand the techniques how to make nice looking stuff so it has to look nice smell nice taste nice and good for your health and the gut bacteria so this is not for you this is for the bacteria in your gut they are going to love this pak choy yeah, and the mushroom. Mushroom is also a very good form of um, of uh, magnesium. Another element very, very majorly absent from our diet. Perfect. Have a nice day. Learn to cook good food, tasty food. That's the only way to good health.